Hello, good about SM viewers. This is Satellite Media. Mr. Rafa Mochi, let's get your thoughts. With respect to this uh, Igbo must go. Because IPO is saying, yes, we are not we are not afraid. Uh, what we encourage the uh, people who are propagating it to do is to encourage Mr. President to organize a referendum so that the Igbos can peacefully exit from Nigeria. Now, get a view. So my view, my point, my own thoughts, my suggestion uh, is rhyming same with that suggestion from the IPOB. Because Tinubu, by this time around, should at least brace up dialogue, national dialogue, not confab sort or kind of dialogue, but a dialogue, you should dialogue with the Igbos. It's not a matter of, you know, the people from the southwest agitating for Igbos, you know, uh, 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 exodus, exuding southwest. No, it has never degenerated to that. There was never a time we are fighting the Eurobus. What we are doing on our own is to exist from the contraption called Nigeria because it does not occupy us. That is meaning it do, we are not accepted. I don't even understand. So instead of degenerating into full escalation, I mean war, pogrom, the best thing to do is allow referendum to be. At least we have conducted referendum online and the United Nations have seen that over 49 people voted 49 million people, Igbos, not all of them. These are the people that are informed about the election. Many Igbos in diaspora within Nigeria did not know about this. Now, it has actually indicated in all ramification that we have one large, large number, a region, a tribe, a race, could get to become what? A nation. Naturehood is it. I don't know what I understand. This time around, Tinubu should raise up peace and dialogue. In a situation like this, it's dialoguing. It is peace. I don't know what I understand. That we bring solution to this kind of political crisis. In a situation whereby we have been at least staying and living in peace with our Yoruba brothers, there was never a time Yoruba man gave Igbo man good notice. There was never a time Igbo man in Omoahia, Yoruba community, they are living in peace there. We have Yoruba community in Omoahia. In Anambra State, on nature where I come from, we have Obosisi, where Odutola built his house from that Obosisi axis down to River Niger. We were communicating, living with the Yoruba men there. Odutola, one of his nephews, was my friend. I'm talking as of 1988. I was a young boy then. He was a Yoruba man collecting tolls from those timber uh, uh, church because that land belongs to them. We have never served him quick notice. Igbo man has never molested him. We are in peace with the Yoruba man there. There are many Yorubas in Abia State, in Anambra State, in Ibo State, Ibo State, Ibo State, and so on and so forth, and so forth and so forth. And they have never, never been harassed, and nobody has ever denied them, you know, deprived them, their, you know, what their benefits. In Abia State, same thing. Yorubas, they are in Aba. Most of the civil engineering work in the east, like building, building of houses. Yes, the, the Yorubas, they are engineers, building engineers in the southeast, working with us. We live together with them. We entertain them. We accept these people. We give them the best of hospitality. Hospitality. Let, let me tell you, the warning I'm signing is that the people that are agitating for the exit of Nibos or quick notice for Nibos to leave Yoruba land are the ones that have never traveled for their life. If you check them, they have never got into Edo State or Bini City, let alone Asaba. There are people that are sitting dormant, very, very dormant, very, very stable in this in this region. They have never traveled beyond Ondo. They have never traveled beyond Ibadan. They are not travelers. If they have traveled, they know that Igbo man is the best in the world. We allow strangers, many of us marry Igbo women because of what? The kind of hospitality we give them across Igbo land. So giving Igbo man quick notice, no, mm -mm, you don't fail it. You know they travel. If you say you they travel, you go no say you should have accepted Igbo man for whom he is. At least we are the economy builders. We build the economy of West Africa. If you go to South South Af Southern Africa, Igbo man is there contributing his own quarter in the Southern Africa, let alone Far East Asia. We are everywhere all over the world. And none of those countries 
nationals have ever found fault on Igbo man. What's the benefit are they getting? Today, I only talk that my friend in Guinea, Gambia, by Senti, I believe he watches me every day, said, Oga, we are eating our and the soup because of Igbo man. They sell it in Kwotom in Guinea Conakry. They sell it in Banju, capital of Gambia. And what are we saying? This is the kind of places, tentacles, economic, commercial tentacles of Igbo man has been spread all over the world, doing their business in peace, not in pieces. Anybody giving Igbo man a quick notice to brace up what? Let down. We are not afraid of anybody. Thank you very much, Mr. No, don't worry. You can call me Mr. Lawrence. Let the girl with uh, IPO be saying the since some persons are saying Ibo must go, let them organize a referendum so that they can go. Yeah, what the Prime Minister said is reality. As in some group of people say Ibo must go in the Nigeria, even though we are ready to prepare to go at any time, any moment. And you see what the Mr. Rap said is reality. People that are economic of Nigeria is Igbos. And if you travel for different type of Africa, country, and Europe, you see that Igbo people that are doing something that happen anywhere in the world. And the Nigerians say Igbo man should go. We are already prepared. Let them, let them declare a referendum for Biafra. Or let's do election in the Nigeria here. The people can support Biafra to go, and people cannot support the Biafra to go. We will see that more than 95% of Igbos will vote to go. And you see that 85% of North and uh, Yorubas will not like Igbo to go. You know why? Because when Igbo go in these two Yoruba on our side, they will see empty places for their place. They will not like Igbo man to go. Are you getting me? They are just make ordinary noise. They are not serious. They are not serious. If they are serious, they are supposed to act since. Because we, we need to go since. In Nigeria, they are holding us. Most of our in Europe, but they are holding us since. They want to go. Because even in the West here, if you ask Yoruba man to go, you say, say, no, why Ibo man will go? Where Ibo man don't marry their sister, they don't marry Ibo man's sister. Is it the truth? No. It's because of what they are gaining in Igbo man's hand. That's Biafrans. That is the reason why they don't want the Igbo to go. So it means, are you saying that with this uh, move, they are only joking, they are not serious? They are not joking. You know, this is not the first time they have said this word. It's not the first time. There are like two or three times they have said the thing. The one that happened when they say all oh, Igbo must leave Lagos. What happened? After everything, the conscience, the person that said that word, the person come outside and apologize Igbo to not to go. The time of uh, Abacha, this is Abacha, uh, when Igbo leave Lekos, the letter called Igbo to come back because everywhere is just empty. Whatever they are saying now is just noise. They are making noise. They are making noise. Thank you very much, Mr. Lawrence. Thank you very much.